So when learning to program via an online programming course or via a book, is it important for you to type in all the examples and to actually go through and finish the coding exercises or challenges that are in that book or video course? Let's talk about that in today's video. Welcome back, my name is Tim Bachalka with another programming tip of the day. And we're talking about going through a book or an online programming course. Is it worthwhile, is it vital in fact, for you to type in all the code. Type in the code as you see it in the book or video course, but also go through the programming exercises and challenges. Because let's face it, it's quite easy to skip ahead and uh, there's probably a want to skip ahead. You'll probably be looking to finish that uh, video course or book as quickly as possible. I think it's vital that you type in all the code in the book or video course. Type it in as you see it in the book or as the video is being shown to you, type along with that code. So in other words, not, don't just attempt the coding exercises, which we'll talk about shortly. All the code you see in that book or video course, my opinion, you should be typing that in yourself um, just to make sure that uh, you really understand the material because that's what you'll find with programming. You learn by doing. We all learn, obviously, to a certain degree by reading the screen and looking at a, a book or watching a video, but until you start coding and immersing yourself in code, you're not going to really become a great programmer or a good programmer who really understands the material. So if you're struggling with programming, it may well be because you're skipping ahead or you're not actually typing in all the code or you're assuming that you understand a particular thing and you may find, in my opinion, you'll usually find if you start typing in code where you previously haven't been doing that, it'll become a lot more, a lot easier for you to understand. So certainly do that. And in terms of coding exercises or challenges, these are uh, little uh, exercises for you to typically type in and solve that uh, are usually in most programming books and certainly in a lot of uh, online video courses. The idea of that is to help you solidify what you've learnt and uh, you do that by actually solving a particular problem. That's another great way to really understand the concepts that have been taught in that previous section or up until that stage of the book or the video course. I think it's essential for you to at least attempt those coding exercises or challenges. And the reason why is firstly, as I said, because you're immersing yourself in code, the more coding you do, the better the programmer you're going to be ultimately. And the more this, uh, the, you know, basically the more the uh, understanding will uh, seep into your consciousness because uh, you know, you're actually doing it, you're actually coding. That's really important, but secondly, just the process of going through that is uh, going to make you uh, a more productive programmer because you're actually having to think, you're actually having to formulate and come up with solutions, and of course, that's what you're going to be doing when you're a full-time programmer. You're going to be doing that uh, for a living, basically, each day. So I think it's essential, and look, don't get too discouraged if you don't finish a coding exercise or challenge, but certainly attempt it. And if you don't finish it, at, uh, or you can't finish it, or it's you feel that's completely out uh, of your depth, that's probably a sign for you to go back and review the previous material, perhaps in that section of the ebook or of the uh, physical book or the online programming course, go back and review those concepts, rewatch the videos, reread, etc., and then maybe attempt it again. But even if you can get part of the coding exercise complete, that's going to be a good thing that will steadily improve your skills because again, you're thinking of this, you're trying to formulate solutions to problems, and that's what programmers do. So in general, my advice is to type in everything that uh, you see in a book, from a book about programming or a video course, type it in as you see that information and certainly go through and try and complete all the coding exercises and challenges. Alrighty, so I hope that helped. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll get back to you. If you're ready to look at the next tip, click on up here and you can check that out. If you're interested in coding specific programming videos, click on the link in the bottom left hand corner. Consider subscribing by clicking on the link up here and I'll see you soon.